Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a good week. Today I'm going to be filming the eyeshadow palette tag video created by Samantha March and Ali Glines. They said that their inspiration for this tag came from TikTok and I'll link both of their videos in the description box below in case you want to check them out. There are 13 different categories and you have to pick an eyeshadow palette from your collection for each one. I've really enjoyed watching everybody else's videos and seeing their different picks. So I thought I'd join in on the fun and make a video of my own. The first category is show your newest palette. My newest palette is the iconic palette from Marc Jacobs in the shade Glambition and this is just a beautiful everyday neutral palette and you've got everything you need in here to create gorgeous daytime looks to evening sultry smoky eyes. There's seven shades here in total, there's a nice brow bone highlight at the top, a couple of neutral transition shades, a couple of shimmers for the lid and some darker tones at the bottom which you can use to smoke out the eye. I think this is just the perfect size, it's quite slim so it can fit into most people's makeup bags and it will be good to travel with and for me I think this is going to become an everyday favourite I'm sure and I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. The next category is to show your oldest palette and for me that is the Urban Decay Naked 2. I've probably had this palette for 7 or 8 years now so the shadows have long expired and I could probably do with decluttering this if I'm honest with you. I would definitely credit Urban Decay for starting the palette craze with the Naked 1 palette and at the time you couldn't really get big palettes like this on the market. I think most makeup companies would have duos or quads um, but nothing as big as this um, ready done in their collections. If we take a look inside the palette you can see that I've not really got much use out of it and I think there's a couple of reasons for this. The first being that there's not many matte shades in here, I think there's only about three and the others are shimmer shades. And the second reason being I don't think the shimmer shades blended out as well on my lid as I would have liked. Um, they certainly weren't as easy to blend as my um, shadows that I collected in my MAC palette and for that reason I don't think that I reach for this as much which is a shame. The next category is to show your most expensive palette and for me this is the Love palette from Natasha Denona. This cost £60 and was a gift from my lovely husband. It arrived earlier this week so I haven't had a chance to use it yet but really excited to do so. Natasha Denona palettes are very expensive, they can be over £100 or even over £200 so I'm really looking forward to trying her eyeshadow formula. If we take a look inside the palette you can see how beautiful the colour story is. I can't wait to create some makeup looks using this. As I understand it this palette is a little bit cheaper than her other palettes because the eyeshadow pan sizes are smaller but for me that's not a problem because I rarely hit pan on eyeshadows anyway um, so I would like to try her formula for a, a slightly cheaper price. I think this is the same size as her bronze palette which has just come out and I ordered that a couple of days ago so hopefully that will be here next week. The next category is to show your most affordable palette and that is the Revolution Precious Stone palette in the shade Rose Quartz. This was a birthday gift from my friend Faye and I'm not sure whether it's still available. If it is then I will link it below with the others. I've not had a chance to play with this palette yet but I will be filming a drugstore makeup get ready with me so really looking forward to trying these shades because look how beautiful. Um, these colours look and I've heard some fantastic things about Revolution uh, eyeshadows so really really looking forward to trying these out. Next is to show your everyday palette and the one that I've been reaching for most recently is the Too Faced Born This Way the Natural Nudes palette. This is just me in a palette. I love the colour story. Um, there's just beautiful neutral shades. You can see um, there's some cool tones, warm tones, some pink um, shades here. I really like that the matte shades are in a slightly bigger pan um, and the shimmers are a bit smaller because I do tend to use mattes a lot more than the shimmers but I love the formula from Too Faced, I think they blend out really really well and I would definitely recommend this palette, I think that I'll be getting a lot of use out of it. Next is to show your most colourful palette and that is the Morphe 35B Colour Burst. I love this palette. 
Um, I bought it a couple of months ago because I felt that I needed to inject a bit of colour into my eyeshadow collection. I'm definitely a neutral girl at heart but this palette I'm hoping will inspire me to create some more colourful looks. Um, the Instagram type makeup with the cut crease etc. So really looking forward to using this. Next is to show your biggest palette and that is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 1. I bought this palette about two weeks ago and it did get a bit damaged in the mail which is annoying um, but the eyeshadows themselves are okay. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people have been mentioning this palette in their video and saying how much they love it so I can't wait to try out the formula apparently it's very easy to blend. Um, the shadows themselves look beautiful. Um, there's a lot of neutrals which are right up my street, a few pops of colour to add um, some interest into the makeup looks. The only thing that I would have preferred is to have the shade name next to the eyeshadow themselves, um, whereas in my version of the palette all of the shade names are printed on the back, but that's quite a small issue, it's not something that I'm going to be too fussed about. The next category is to show your smallest palette, and mine is the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette. I really like this. I think it's great for travel, it's really compact. I've actually taken it on holiday with me a couple of times. Inside there are six shades, five are matte shades and then there's one shimmer just at the end here. But you can easily create some neutral looks, some warm looks. Um, great little palette, would definitely recommend this one. Next is to show you palette with the best memory and that for me is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker palette. I purchased this palette last year when I went on holiday to Las Vegas with my husband. It was just the best trip. We went to see the Aerosmith Residency. They're one of my favourite bands so it was just an absolutely amazing experience. We also went on a helicopter trip to the Grand Canyon and the whole trip from start to finish we just enjoyed every moment of it. I also used this palette earlier this year. We went to the Secret Cinema uh, Stranger Things Experience in London and the character I had to dress up as was into glam rock. So I got to use the colours in this palette to put together a really bold 80s glam rock look. Um, so I think I used this pink in the crease, um, this blue all over the lid, the shimmery pink here and just had like really blown out eyeshadow so that was quite fun to do um, really enjoyed the weekend and for that reason this is the palette with the best memories the next category is to show a palette worth the hype and I have picked the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette for me this is the palette that started the peach makeup hype um, I loved the fact that it was scented um, I hadn't experienced like that peach fragrance before um, but this palette is just so versatile. There's some lovely neutrals in here, some pinks, greens, purples. I've taken this palette on holiday with me. Um, you can create so many different looks from, from this palette. And the quality of the eyeshadows are beautiful. Too Faced formula blends out like a dream. Um, and I've got so much use out of this over the years. This one's getting a bit old now, but I would consider purchasing another one. Next is to show a palette not worth the hype and I would have chosen the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette for this but because I've included that in a different category I've chosen to talk about the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. This was very hyped up a couple of years ago and I do like this palette a lot more than the Naked 2. One of the reasons being is they have now included a lot more matte shades in here. Um, but a lot of these darker cherry shades, I find that no matter which shade I use, and they do look different in the pan, when they're on the eye, they do look quite samey. And for a palette of this size, I would have liked to have been able to create a wider variety of looks. So for that reason, this is why I've chosen to put it in, in this category. Sorry, Urban Decay. The next category is to choose a palette from your favourite brand and I don't really have a favourite brand as such, I like different products from different brands but when I think back to the brand that really inspired my love of makeup I always think of MAC and for that reason I have chosen the MAC Fashionably Harrods palette. This palette is exclusive to Harrods department store in the UK, it's a beautiful neutral palette, there's warm tones, neutral tones, cool tones in here, there's a great mix of matte and shimmer shades and you can create so many looks from this palette. Um, it's fantastic. And the last category is show your most used palette and for me that is the Too Faced Naturalised palette. 
I have used this to absolute death over the last couple of years. They revamped the packaging. Um, this is the newer style of packaging, um, but I think it's absolutely stunning. This lace detail here is so, so pretty. They also bought out a face palette as well, which is really good. Um, but the shadows in here, it's just a beautiful selection of neutral shadows. There's some cool tones, warm tones in here. This shade um, here, which is called Strip Poker, it doesn't look like much in the pan, but just through the crease with a bit of eyeliner is perfect for everyday um, makeup. Um, I've used this uh, for work, I've used this for nights out. Um, this shimmery gold is really nice on the lid. There's some nice darker matte shades to smoke out the eye really versatile and I'm sure it will still be a firm favourite in my collection in the future. I may even have to buy another one of these when this one expires. I've really enjoyed making this video today. It's definitely inspired me to want to use my collection more. From watching other people's videos, I will be adding a couple of new palettes to my wish list. I think that I will be purchasing at some point the gold palette from Natasha Denona um, and maybe the Mothership 5 palette from Pat McGrath. I think it's called the Bronze Seduction palette. Both of those look so, so nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel and I do appreciate it. And if you'd like to see some more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I would love to have you back. I make videos about beauty and lifestyle and I normally try to upload two videos per week. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on my next one. Enjoy the rest of your day.